We are now going to work with inverse operations to solve equations. If we have an equation like x plus 6 is equal to 10, what that means is we had an x, added 6 to it, and we got 10 as the answer. To get back to x, which is what we're trying to do when we solve an equation, work out what x is, so we just want to get back to x on its own, what we need to do is the inverse operation, which is subtract 6. Let's do that in our equation. Remember, with equations, what you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other. So let's subtract 6 from both sides of the equation. Here, plus 6 and minus 6 will go disappear with each other, and you get x, and 10 minus 6 gives you 4. So the answer to this is 4. If we have a look at another one, like 5x is equal to 20, Again, let's think about what we're doing to x. x multiplied by 5 is giving us 20. Remember, when we write 5x, it just means 5 times x. We want to solve the equation. That means we want to get x on its own. We want to get back to the x. So we need to do the inverse operation. And the inverse of multiplying is dividing. In an equation, what we do to one side, we must do to the other. So let's divide both sides of the equation by 5. And 5 divided by 5 is going to be 1. So you just get back to the plain x you wanted. And then 20 divided by 5 is 4. And so we have our solution to the equation. A final example. Here we've got x over 3 is equal to 6. Now remember, if we write x over 3, that just means x divide by 3 is equal to 6. We want to get back to x on its own. When we're solving an equation, we want to get x on its own. How do we get back to x on its own? We do the inverse operation of division, which is multiplication. So we must multiply by 3. What we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. So let's multiply both sides of the equation by 3. That will mean you'll get back to x on its own on this side, and 6 multiplied by 3 will give you 18. So x is 18, is the solution to the equation.